Louisiana Beer Reviews, Juventa Brewings, Crimson Tart, Limited Release 2018, Crooked Line, the Crooked Line series, brewed off the beaten path. Um, I saw no other, I, I looked for this on YouTube, there's no video reviews for it. This, as, as of the time of this recording, this is the first video review for this beer in the world. Um, canned on June 3rd, 2018. So it's over two months old. Uh, great beer, beer advocate, they didn't even have 10 scores each. Untapped had lots of scores and they're rating, rating it about 73 out of 100. So never had it. Uh, don't know anything about it. It's not even listed on the Juventa website. So they might have had it on there and then they just dropped it. 8% alcohol. Golly. <laughs> Yikes. Um, no IBU listed. It's saying hops low though. Very low on the scale. They're showing a scale in the back. Like at about 15% hop. I don't know how they're using that. It's kind of 25% malt, body light, toward light, color toward light. You can see that. Fruit ale brewed with natural pomegranate. Okay. I saw it at Martin Wine Cellar. I figured, what the heck, I'll buy it. I don't know much about it. Actually, nothing about it. <laughs> Not much head, but this is a wine glass. Wine, fruit, okay, fruit, beer. Thin white head, might be thicker in a narrow or a brim glass, but I have a feeling it would fizz right away. What's that color? Like a pale peach? Yeah, peach. Yeah. Peach or orange, something. It does have a pink tinge to it, doesn't it? Some bubbles, very cloudy. All right, let's check it out. 8%. Whoa, like Red's Apple Ale. Red's Wicked Apple. Sorry, Red's Wicked. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, some slight fruit, just mostly like um, malt aroma or beer say beer don't use beer to describe beer I know that's a bad idea like some white bread or something it's very faint really there's not a lot of aroma to describe maybe some water I know that sounds silly but that's what it smells like <laughs> tart bready so tart, bready, maybe a little sour milk. <laughs> citrus fruit flavor, citrus fruit, pomegranate, I guess. Uh, got a little ants biting me. Not trying to kill y'all, but I'm minding my business. You're attacking me. Um, body. Medium. Finish is tart. Semi-sweet. A little sourness also. It's saying the body's light to medium. I think it's more like medium. I don't see where it's so light. 8% alcohol. I hear some kind of fly flying around behind me. Maybe it's attracted to this smell. Maybe it could smell it more than me. I'm not really picking up much aroma. <laughs> I see that fly. Trying to edge its way over here. You smell it, huh? Oh, well, it's attracting flies. There's no rotted vegetable matter or anything in it, though. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. It's like less sugary than that Red's Wicked series, the Red's Wicked flavored ales, you know, the blackberry. They all say they use natural flavoring, whatever that might mean. But the all the different ones, you know what I'm talking about. So um, they even have a watermelon. But I, I don't say it's way better than those. Maybe it tastes more natural. Um, I think 73 is too low just saying a C. I think more like an 83 would be a better score. Like that, But that's the way I'm grading it. Um, now a lot of people say, well, untap's a five-point scale. Yeah, but there's a lot of room within that scale that you can go up or down, right? And how hard is it to convert to 100? Not hard. So you, you could, there's a lot of range within that. And I like to use the college grading scale. So I think 83 is fair, a B. Just a B. It's good. 8% doesn't taste boozy, so it could sneak up on you. I wouldn't drink more than one of these. Don't know how readily available it is. It's not even on the website. I won't, you know, it doesn't look like too many people can get it. But I'm glad I tried it. So, Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay, a B beer, a good beer. And, you know, there's a lot of good beers on the market, but it's good. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down. It's about 8, 10 minutes after 8 right now, by the way. Y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.